in this video we will discuss regarding the another viral disease that is malignant catarrhal fever it is also called as bovine malignant catara or snot skid it is an acute highly fatal infectious disease of cattle which is characterized by catarrhal and mucopurulent inflammation of eyes and nostrils erosion of nasal mucosa rapid progressive emaciation and enlargement of lymph nodes corneal opacity and nervous symptoms in this disease mainly it involves the catarrhal and mucopurulent inflammation of eyes and nostrils and erosion of nasal mucosa therefore this disease is also called as snot skid the meaning of snot is nothing but the nasal mucus now let us come to the the virus which is responsible to the malignant catarrhal fever is gamma herpes virus and this virus is lymphotropic which mean uh, this virus has high affinity towards the lymphocytes deer wild ruminants and cattle are the susceptible animals and it is reported uh, worldwide and uh, in india it is also reported it is transmitted by wild beasts are act as the a carrier for the virus and uh, these act as the source of infection for the cattle and uh, in case of U uh, united states uh, it is reported that sheep carry the virus and transmits to cattle and it is not transmissible uh, between the infected animal it is not any contagious disease now let us come to the pathogenesis the pathogenesis of this disease is uh, not clearly uh, defined however the virus affects the variety of organs and produces lesions but the virus are lymphotropic in nature lymphotropic virus is associated with the lymphocytes where there is no free virus is uh, detectable in the tissue of the uh, cattle uh, but the virus always uh, entrapped in the lymphocytes the main pathological features are a lymphocytic proliferation and infiltr infiltration uh, with the uh, vasculitis clinical signs uh, involve high fever catarrhal conjunctivitis and rhinitis mucopurulent discharge from eyes and nostrils exudate flows from the eyes and nostrils and soon they dries and sticks eyes are sensitive to light corneal opacity emaciation erosion in skin of muzzle and the roof of mouth and cheeks uh, there is a diarrhea nervous signs in the later stages and in a uh, mild disease the skin lesions like a uh, thickening and uh, peeling up skin in axilla perineum and neck lesions are seen and the lymph nodes are swollen gross lesions include lymph nodes are swollen and the cut surface is granular in nature erosion in nasal oral and pharyngeal mucosa which is covered by mucopurulent exudate the congestion edema erosion in esophagus rumen reticulum and omasum erosion and ulceration in abomasum hyperemia edema in small intestine congestion and edema of eye enlarged and mottled liver and kidney cooked up appearance of brain and uh, renal cortex contain gray to white foci which resembles the infarct now let us come to the microscopic lesions in lymph nodes the dilation of lymphatic vessels and uh, severe edema proliferation of reticulo endothelial cells in the lymph nodes are seen and in blood vessels perivascular and uh, uh, intramural infiltration of the mononuclear cells will be noticed and uh, medial necrosis and uh, endothelial swelling of arteries and arterioles oral and nasal epithelium necrosis and uh, uh, lymphocytic infiltration will be seen and uh, in kidney the collection of mononuclear cells in the cortex of the kidney will be seen 
and uh, in case of brain the edema and uh, lymphocyte infiltration in the meninges perivascular cuffing in the medulla pons uh, hippocampus and uh, cerebrum cerebellum and spinal gray matter uh, there is no any inclusion bodies or uh, synthesis seen then it can be diagnosed by using the lymphotropic nature of the virus virus is associated with the lymphocytes no free uh, viruses is uh, detectable in uh, any tissue of the cattle main uh, pathological uh, features are lymphocytic proliferation and uh, infiltration with the vasculitis elisa uh, serum neutralization test and uh, immunofluorescence test uh, these can also be used to diagnose the malignant cattle fever and uh, differential diagnosis uh, from the uh, render pest based on the prominent intestinal lesions in the render pest can be noticed but uh, those uh, intestinal lesions cannot be seen in the uh, malignant cattle fever and it can be diagnosed by using the clinical signs along with the lesions in the next video we will discuss regarding the another viral disease that is a blue tongue uh, which is uh, transmitted by the uh, quilicoid mosquito thank you